watched a few people's clinicals on what was in their clinical bags and it just seemed like that's so many things. And I feel like I kinda know what you need for your clinicals bag. Hi everyone, I'm almost finished with nursing school. I'm in my last semester. I have 13 more days of clinicals left and I will be done. Anyways, all these clinical hours I've done, I feel like I kinda know what you need for your clinicals bag. For me, I need compression socks and they make cute ones on Amazon, guys. I need these because I don't have the best feet and those have been helpful. I learned about them first semester of nursing school, I believe. Definitely a game changer. Then last semester of nursing school, I discovered hokas. These are kind of expensive shoes, guys. Only you know if compression socks and hokas are a good um, investment for you. But if you have feet problems, they definitely might be. I have undiagnosed, but all the symptoms of plantar fasciitis. My mom had plantar fasciitis and needed surgery for it. I mean, I'm almost a nurse. I'm pretty sure that's what I have. Anyways. Hoka's have dramatically improved how good I can walk when I get up in the morning. And my feet were just, they were getting so tired by the end of a 12 hour shift. And then, like I said, in the morning when I would get out of bed, I would be hobbling around and I'm, I won't say I'm never doing that, but barely. It's, it's like a thousand times better. And some of that's the compression socks. Some of it. I mean, that's, that's definitely, and those are cheap, but a lot of it is the Hoka's shoes. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. Hoka's, Hoka's, but they're a must for me. I will definitely keep buying that brand of shoe and wearing it when I'm going to be on my feet a lot. And I wear it just to the grocery store and everywhere. They're definitely worth it for me. Those I don't think are everyone's have to haves. What are everyone's have to haves? Today's world, a mask. And even if your hospital says you don't need masks, if someone's room smells bad, a mask is helpful. You can put some scent on that mask, whatever you like. I always have Biofreeze, which is a roll-on like menthol thing for muscle aches. And you can put just a little bit of that on your mask and you're not gonna smell as much of the smell. I also recommend Biofreeze or some sort of peppermint oil, menthol, lotion, cream, roll-on liquid applicator, whatever, for headaches. If you get headaches, putting that on your forehead, your temples, the back of your neck, if you're prone to headaches, that's that's a must. And I do tend to, in new stressful situations, like first day of clinicals in a new place, get headaches. Next, caffeine. Guys, if you're used to having caffeine, do not rush out the door without bringing your caffeine or stopping. McDonald's is my favorite place to get that caffeine. And if you're used to drinking two cups of coffee, make sure you pack some caffeine in your lunch. I love bubbler energy drinks. They are low sugar, sweetened with erythritol. That is one of my caffeines of choice for lunchtime is bubbler. And I don't always bring that. I didn't bring it yesterday because I wanted to be able to go to bed as soon as I got home. And that really gives me energy. It's caffeine plus B vitamins. So bubbler in the lunchbox though, if you really want some energy, I love that. But if you're used to caffeine, Make sure you bring caffeine to your clinicals. Make sure you drink it on your way there. Make sure you have extra at lunchtime if you need it. You don't want to be on less caffeine than you normally are used to. If anything, you want a little more so you can go, go, go. What else do you need? You do need a stethoscope. They say you need a manual blood pressure cuff. I don't know if I ever used my manual blood pressure cuff at clinicals. I think once because I didn't like the mental health unit's manual blood pressure cuff. It like got kind of sticky, the little bulb syringe. I couldn't loosen it. But everywhere I've gone, they've had those available. I didn't need to bring my own. You should maybe just in case, but the only medical equipment of my own that I've used is my stethoscope. And you definitely need your stethoscope. You also definitely need your name tag, guys. You have some sort of name tag that you got from your school or that you got from the place you're working at. Bring your name tag. You need your name tag. For me, chapstick. I like chapstick and hard candy. I love sugar-free, wintergreen mints. That's my favorite, but hard candy to suck on if your mouth's getting dry. If you're prone to a little bit of coughing, I've had a cough for a while now. It's just this lingering cough. You don't want to be coughing in front of people post-COVID. It makes them nervous. Hard candy can help you if you're prone to any kind of cough or scratchy throat. If it's a peppermint wintergreen, can you guys tell I love mint? It also, like if you're sucking on one of those 
with a mask on is gonna help mask smells too a little bit so hard candy that's a yes for me pens one time i actually got into clinicals without an ink pen I thought I had them in the bottom of my bag. I didn't. I had a bunch of them in my purse, which I left my purse locked in my car. I mean, I borrowed a pen. They were nice, but bring pens you like. I love Frixion erasable pens, Friction erasable pens. They write so well. You can get them in a variety of colors. The colors show up though, like even their pink is a nice dark pink. So if it helps you to like color code things, bring two different colors of them and they erase. Erasable is helpful. When you're in nursing school, you just, you write something and then realize you heard wrong and it wasn't a TPP, it was a TTE or something. Like all the time, you just, they're saying so many new things and you realize you heard something wrong. So ink pens, erasable ink pens are even better. Bring whatever documentation you're going to need to fill out for your school afterwards if you know like every clinicals i've been to i've had different documentation that i needed to fill out afterwards i bring it with me blank so i can fill it out there and i make sure i have some blank paper too just to scribble furiously notes on of things i'm learning so pens paper some people bring clipboards and folders and notebooks i try to have my hands free i think it was nurse liz who's a popular youtuber that said do not be that student nurse that is attached to your clipboard, <laughs> that can't put down your clipboard. And so I've tried to do that. I take my papers, I fold them into thirds, fourths, long ways, short ways. I don't know. I think I fold them in half and then I fold them again into fourths. And I put them in my pocket. They fit in my nursing pocket. They stick out some, but they fit in my nursing pocket. Nursing pockets are deep. Then you always have them with you, but you have your hands free to do stuff. And man, you touch all kinds of stuff sometimes when you go in a room. All kinds of stuff. So if you put on gloves and you're touching all that stuff, and then your clipboard is there, and it's just easier to have your papers in your pocket <laughs> until you're finished touching everything. Then you take your gloves off. And if you need to stay in the room and write stuff down without gloves on, that's fine. But you don't want to, you just don't want that clipboard sitting around in the room. And you don't want to accidentally leave your clipboard with information in the room. So I say no clipboard, but yes, you need your papers. You need your pens. You need to be able to bring them with you everywhere. So Make sure they can fit in your pocket. Don't bring 20 papers. Some people showed a million things in their clinicals bags. And I just, I don't have a million things in there. That's pretty much it. I bring my lunch so that I don't have to worry about finding the cafeteria. Because in some hospitals, that's difficult. That really depends on your placement. But, oh, I always have extra ponytail holders and a hairbrush. I've never needed to get them out. But, like, you're supposed to have your hair up. And what if your ponytail holder breaks? So I always have extra ponytail holders and a hairbrush in my bag. Never needed it yet. I've headache medicine in my purse, in my clinicals bag. I have definitely needed that. I think that's it, guys. What do you have in your clinical bag that is a must-have for you that I didn't list? Like I said, when I first started nursing school, I watched a few people's clinicals on what was in their clinical bags. And it just seemed like they had so many things. And really, you know, it's mostly me and my pen and my papers. And I do have my phone with me and I use my phone to look up stuff while I'm in clinicals, like to look up a drug and what it does. Or yesterday I was looking up EKG rhythms and reading some about them. After, you know, learning a little bit about them, we had some downtime and I was reading a little more about them to try to figure them out. I think that's it. Let me know what I missed.